Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and in today's video I'm going to show you a terrible user experience which you can always avoid if you think about your project and about your user. So it's just a tiny part of a website but a crucial part nonetheless. So without any further ado, let's get started. So I was browsing Instagram one day and a job ad popped up in my story so I just wanted to check it out not because I need the job at the moment but because I'm simply curious about what they are offering, how are the job propositions and uh, which tools are required for the job position just to see if I hire people in the future what I should look out for. I do this all the time and when I do this I always like to review companies uh, uh, on um, some websites to see uh, experiences from people who are working in those companies. And if you've never done this, I always recommend this to my students and to people who are interested in design. Make sure to always check if there is some experiences from previous uh, employees on internet and there are websites out there which are going to allow you to do just that. So you can read their experiences, you can see uh, if the job was good, uh, if the employer was good, if the salary was on time, how was the work ethic, how was the work experience overall, did they like the difficulty of the projects they worked on and so much more. So if you're interested in any one of these details I recommend you to do this and how should you do this is let's see that you are on Google so NetGuru is the company that uh, Instagram popped up on uh, my story so I just wanted to quickly check it out and there is this website called glassdoor.com now here is where the problem is uh, all of these websites are requiring you to create an account with them which is completely fine but this website is doing it a different way so when I click on it and you're doing this live with me just to be able to see you can see straight away it pops in I managed to do this uh, previously when I actually started scrolling a little bit but it didn't get me a lot so all I can see right here is where the company is from how many employees do they have uh, which type of company it is um, that revenue is not applicable when they are founded but I can see all of this on their website anyways so it's it's completely useless at this stage but they say that we have to create an account so let's create an account so I will continue uh, as myself on Facebook I just typed in yes and it let me in but you can see add your review or salary to continue using Glassdoor now this is my problem right away first of all you asked me to create an account I did just that I connected my Facebook so my private data is now in your hands through Facebook which is fine. Okay, I gave you my permission to do so. But Glassdoor is a career community that depends on everyone being able to share an inside look at a company they know. It's anonymous and will only take a minute. So why should I do this? I don't want to do this. Where is the X? Where is the close? I don't care about this. I just care about this company. That's why I came here. That's why I'm on your website. So why are you requesting me to do this? It's, it's just ridiculous. So add review or salary. Let's do this. Let's do what they say. So it now takes me to this page. So what, what is actually the point here? I wanted to do this on that previous page, which is a terrible UX. You're now taking me to this page. I don't even remember how I got here anyways. So let's do that. So company uh, review, uh, let's do that. Current, so employer name, so Alex on design because I'm employing myself. So let's hit next. And now it's requesting me all of this. So I don't want to add a website. So headquarters look but please ent enter a valid URL. So I have to enter a website. But what if the company I work for doesn't have a website? Maybe they have a mobile app. Maybe they have an internal website they are working on. Maybe they're just using Slack. Maybe they just have a YouTube channel like in this case. So if you don't have a website, you cannot continue here. So let's say headquarters location, let's say Belgrade, Serbia. Here it is, type of employer, let's say company private and one to 50 employees. And when I click next, please provide the full website. So this is the nature of my complaint. This is just terrible UX because if the company, as I said, doesn't have a website, uh, you cannot continue. So the point of me being on this website 
is to be able to see that company, to be able to hear uh, experiences from other designers. But I somehow ended up on your personal page. You're requesting me uh, my personal data. I provided my personal data. Now you are uh, asking me even more. So we are stuck right here. I don't have a website. I do, but I will not provide my website to, to this website because it's just ridiculous for me to do so. But what if I don't? I don't have a website. I cannot continue. I cannot click next right here. And I'm basically stuck. I have to exit this website. And this is the key. If you forgot to disconnect your Facebook from this account, if you don't block access uh, to this website to your Facebook, they are going to continue to mine your data. At the end, perhaps they're going to sell your data. Maybe they're going to be hacked and your data will be stolen. And that's the key thing right here. Because why would you give your personal data to all of these ridiculous websites that they're just trying to get you to be their guinea pig? I love this community. That's fine. The community aspect of this website is great. My complaint right here is just this terrible UX because you can see right here, I don't have a website. So I'm basically stuck. There is no cancel. There is no X. There is no, uh, I don't have a website here. Um, there is no uh, option for me to select anything else. For example, maybe the company just has an Instagram page. So maybe I can, um, instead of website, provide an Instagram page or whatever else, but it doesn't allow you to do so. So the whole point of this Glassdoor website is now broken and ruined because you cannot do on it what you came to do here in the first place. And that's the nature of my complaint. That's it for today. If I continue ranting on, this video is going to be 30 minutes long and I don't want to do this. I don't want to waste your time. Let me know in the comments below. Do you agree with me? And have you ever, um, maybe saw something like this, a similar website like this, where they're going to take your data in advance and not provide you with the original idea behind the website and the original reason why you actually came to this particular website in the first place. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I upload new videos every single week about Adobe XD, passive income techniques, UX design tips, just like this one, and so much more. So if you're interested in content like that, make sure to subscribe. And until next time, take care.